All right. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. Luis Morales here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk, and it is time for a little bit of a stretch break, 3 p.m. on a Monday afternoon. <clears throat> Before we go ahead and get started, if there's anything that you guys feel needs a little bit extra love or a little bit of extra stretching today, feel free to drop it in the chat or you can say it out loud. I'm always up for suggestions here in these um, little mobility sessions. So I'll give you guys a second to do that. And then if not, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the plan for today was kind of start with the hips, move up a little bit, kind of address all the major joints of our axial skeleton here today. So I'm not seeing anything in the chat. Feel free if you guys get inspired as we go um, to drop anything in the chat. Um, I'll keep an eye out for it, but what we're going to get started with here today is going to be on the ground, more specifically in a half kneeling position. We're going to get a little two for one stretch in here, starting with the hip flexor, and then we'll stretch the opposite hamstring. So let's come down onto the ground. I got my left knee down on the ground here, and what I'm going to start by doing is squeezing that left butt super hard. So if you're having trouble Give your glute a little bit of a tap, squeeze super hard. We'll bring the belly button in towards the spine. And then we can move those, push those hips forward a little bit while still keeping that glute squeeze back there. So we're just looking for some medium stretch here. And we wanna make sure that we're in our torsos and upper bodies are not leaning back. It'll crunch the spine a little bit. We wanna be able to lean forward and work with that angle that we got our hips in. So let's breathe, keep the glute squeezed above all else. Breathing into that tension in the front of the hip here. Well done, you guys. Let's do a couple more breaths. Let all the stressors from today just wash away for a little bit. Well done. All right. Then we can relax the glute. We're going to bring our weight back into that back knee. Let's go ahead and extend that front leg now. So front leg is gonna straighten out. We got the toes pointed up towards the ceiling. And from here, we're just looking to kind of bend over while pushing the hips backwards a little bit. We can kind of reach for the ground, the knee, the shin, the ankle, anything for support. And we're looking for a medium hamstring stretch. Same thing, let's get into that deep breathing. Let the stomach expand, let the low back expand with each breath here. All right, one more big breath. Good, all right. From here we can go ahead and straighten up and then pull our leg back up. Let's go ahead and switch sides now. So whatever knee you had down to start, let's switch it over to the other side. Since I got my right knee down, that right butt is gonna squeeze super hard. We'll pull the belly button in towards the spine and then push the hips forward a little bit, trying to find a medium hip flexor stretch on that other hip now. So once you find it, let's try and focus on breathing into the tension in the front of the hip there. We're letting the stomach expand as much as possible. Good job, guys. Keep that glute squeeze. If you have to keep kind of tapping the outside of your hip there, that usually will help. Good job, everyone. Let's do one more big breath here. Nicely done. All right. We can shift our way back onto that right knee, guys. Extend that front leg. Heel is down. Toe is up. And then we'll push our hips backwards a little bit using the ground, our knee, shin, ankle, foot, whatever we can to support ourselves as we get into a nice little hamstring stretch here. We want that midsection to expand as much as possible with the inhales here, guys, and then deflate with the exhale. So let's do a few of those. Nicely done, everybody. Good, nice long exhale. Let's do one more breath. Good 
nicely done, you guys. All right, control yourself, bring yourself all the way up, and then we'll bend that front leg. Perfect. All right, next thing we're going to get into is we're going to stay here on the ground and do a little bit of rocking in quadrupeds. So hands and knees. What we're going to do here, guys, is <clears throat> extend one leg way out to the side in order to get a nice little inner thigh stretch. So I'm starting here with the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. <clears throat> and from here, what I'm going to do is kick my left leg out right out to the side, plant my foot so my heel, big toe, and little toe are on the ground here, and they're going to stay connected the whole time. Now with my core tight, what I'm going to do is rock back, bring the hips towards my heel back there, feel that kind of inner thigh stretch, go back as far as you can handle, and then we'll squeeze the glutes and come back forward. Let's do this a couple times. Hanging out in that stretch there for a second, we're looking for that stretch in the inner thigh. We're breathing through that tension. Good job, guys. Good job. Move the hips back. Keep that core tight. Try and keep that back nice and flat. All right, wherever you're at, let's do one more here. Well done, you guys. Way to use those glutes squeezing back up. All right, I'm going to turn myself around. You guys can just kick the opposite leg out here. We're doing the same thing on the other side. All right, we got the hands planted under the shoulders. Other leg is out to the side. The whole foot is planted on the ground. The core is tight, so the back is flat. And then we're moving those hips back towards that back heel, hanging out, feeling that inner thigh stretch for a second, and then squeezing the glutes coming back forward. <sighs> Breathing as we go here, guys. You may notice that one side tolerates a little bit more rocking than the other. And that's okay. It's probably how it is for most people. <sighs> Do what you can here today. And let's breathe <sighs> through that tension. <sighs> All right, guys, wherever you're at, let's make this next one the last. <sighs> Big breaths. Squeeze those glutes. All right, we are back in the quadruped. Now we can pull that leg back in. And then let's come up into what we know as tall kneeling here. So we got both knees down on the ground here, guys. And so if this is an uncomfortable position for you, feel free to grab a pillow, fold the mat up, uh, grab a blanket, something like that, or a towel, um, just to make sure that the knees aren't kind of having a lot of discomfort in their contact with the ground here. The knees are not meant for supporting the body for long periods of time in this position. So we wanna make it as comfortable as possible when we're doing it. <clears throat> All right, so from this position here, what we're gonna do is open up the upper kind of rib cage a little bit. So let's start by taking our hands, interlacing those fingers behind our back, letting those hands get really, really heavy. You can straighten out those arms, pull the shoulder blades back together. We're gonna to open up that chest and breathe into that chest. And as we go here, guys, check in with those hips. Um, let's go ahead and squeeze the glutes just to make sure that those hips are right under us. They're supporting us. And we can really open up the chest here now and breathe into that chest. If it's comfortable, let's go ahead and bring the chin up just a little bit. We're extending through the spine, but nothing crazy. Just opening up all the tissue on the front side here. Tissue that's oftentimes closed down and shortened as we work the days away on the computer, sitting at the desk, even standing at the desk. Well done, guys. Two more breaths. Last one here. Good, and on that exhale, we can slowly let those hands go, come down by our sides, shake those shoulders out a little bit. Next, let's come all the way up into standing. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is finish off with everything kind of in the, the shoulder and neck area. 
So we're gonna do just a few backwards shoulder rolls and then we'll get into some neck circles. So with the feet planted about hip width apart, nice comfortable distance, let's do the same thing we just did by squeezing the glutes so the hips are locked under us, supporting our spine. And what we'll do is start with some nice backwards shoulder rolls. So we wanna bring them together in the front, shrug them up near the ears, have them roll over the top of our rib cage and then slide down the back of the rib cage almost as if we we're sliding our phones into our back pockets. <sighs> Breathing as we go. Feel free to close your eyes and bring more focus just to that shoulder movement and the breath itself. <sighs> Closing the eyes for stuff like this is really great because we're not making our brains, you know, process all the information we're getting from the eyes. We can just allow the brain to feel where we are in space, feel the breath, feel the shoulders move, not really worry about anything that we're seeing in particular. All right, you guys, wherever you're at, let's do one more big roll. Good job, you guys, good job. Okay, we're gonna end with three neck circles in each direction. So same stance, hips are under us, core is tight. Let's start with the chin on our chest and then whatever direction you decide to go, we're gonna do three rotations in that direction and then switch to the other one. So the goal with the neck circles here, guys, as always, is just to draw the biggest possible circle you can. Put an imaginary pen attached to the nose. We're just taking it slow, trying to breathe the best we can. Noticing which areas may be tighter than others. Maybe there's one side that's tighter than the other for you. Good job, guys, good job. Last rotation for this side. All right, chin on the chest, and then we can change directions. Don't forget to breathe, I know it may seem hard. We're just doing the best we can, trying to get a little bit better at this one today. Good work, you guys, good work. Final rotation happening here. When we're done, we wanna get that chin as close to the chest as possible. And then we can bring our heads up maybe open our eyes if they were closed, give yourselves a little shake. That is all the time I've left for this session here today, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, um, we do have the blood drive going on. That is next month, not this month. And make sure to sign up because those spots are filling up quick. And then we also have something called Bike to Wherever Day this Friday. So we're doing a very similar stretching slash mobility session at 8.30 a.m. Pacific this Friday. Um, be on the look for that. Check our SharePoint site for all the info on Bike to Wherever Day, uh, what it is, why, and then we're looking forward to seeing you guys in a little bit of a mobility session where you can all connect this Friday, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Take care, you guys. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys later this week. Bye, Luis. Thank you. That was great. Thanks for coming, guys. Good job. Take care.